In today's video, you're going to learn how to take any image on Photoshop and make it glow. And if you watch towards the end of the video, you'll also learn how to change the color of the glow to any color that you want and you can also change the brightness of the glow. So the first thing I'm going to do to this image is I'm going to make it look like this image was taken at night time. So there's just too much uh, light here. So let's just make this image darker. So the way you do that is by clicking on this little circle icon on the bottom right hand corner and you have all of these options here. So if you click on brightness and contrast, this window will pop up and let's just lower the brightness and that makes it uh, a bit darker and let's make the contrast higher and that makes it even more darker. So if you just add some black and white texture over this, it will give it that um, effect which will make it look like it was taken at night time. So the way you do that is by again clicking on that little circle icon on the bottom right hand corner and choose black and white. So this window will pop up and it's already looking pretty good with the black and white texture but you can make it even better by playing around with these graphs right here. So you can move this further left which is too dark but you can make maybe leave it that in the middle. Now if you move the yellows to the bit more to the left that makes it a bit more darker. Maybe even the greens and the blues, will, uh, it's making the uh, the background even darker. So I can make that really dark, but that makes it a bit too pixelated. So we can bring that back a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. And we can take this even further as well. Um, we can just add like a, uh, another layer and we can take the paint bucket tool and just add a black layer on top of it. And we can just put in like things like um, different effects like multiply or color burn. I think that looks pretty good. If you can lower the opacity on the soft light. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So this it's kind of looks like it was taken at night time. So the next thing is uh, I want to add a, a nice color to it. So what kind of color do we want this to glow in? So you don't have to pick the color that I choose. You can choose any color you want. So I'm going to make a, a new layer on top of that black layer that we just created. So I'm just going to rename this to black. Uh, black texture and on top of this layer I'm going to choose uh, again I'm going to choose that little uh, circle icon and, and I'm going to pick selective color so this you can play around with uh, these graphs and choose what kind of uh, color or what kind of glow you want this uh, photo to have so uh, if you choose right here under the colors menu you can choose different colors here but I'm just, I'm just going to leave this on neutral which changes the entire photograph and then we can just choose the um, we can just cut out the uh, glasses later on so let me show you what I mean so if you just play around with this view so that makes it quite red that's quite yellow uh, if you move this further that's even more yellow let's move this further it's quite green so I think I like this kind of a red, reddish color there. Yeah, that maybe that reddish color here. So I think I like that right here. Let's keep around here. So obviously we don't want the entire photo to glow. So we, we're gonna, we have to kind of rub out a lot of these um, other parts here. So the way you do that is by choosing this white box under the layer. Uh, this is white box in the selective color layer. So choose that white box and pick the paint bucket, uh, paint brush tool. And I'm going to choose a, a large size. So pick a large size and also make the hardness at zero. So if I make the hardness at 100% and if I try rubbing something out, it's going to create this really hard edge. But if I keep the hardness at 0%, it's going to give it that nice feathered look. So that's the look that I'm going for. So let's just rub out everything around the edges and also around his clothes and I just want the that red color to be around his face because that's where the glow is. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is choose, uh, we need to crop out his glasses. So if you don't know how to crop, uh, I've got another detailed video on that. This isn't going to be a detailed video on how to crop. Basically you just take the um, the pen tool and you just uh, draw an outline around the glasses or whatever it is that you want to crop. And uh, I've got a detailed video on that, uh, link is in the description below, uh, but I've already got the, the glasses cropped out here. So I'm going to choose the glasses and I'm going to uh, paint uh, the color that I want around these glasses. So let's just choose maybe like a red color. 
like that there maybe maybe a little bit brighter so it's up to you what you want to pick but I'm going to choose that bright red color and I'm going to choose a new layer and I'm going to new, name this new layer uh, original glass glow so uh, there's a reason why I'm naming it original because um, I want oh, whoops it's not uh, red don't think I picked the right color there let's choose yep there we go now it's red so the reason why I'm calling it original because um, we're going to make multiple copies of this and make it glow. So we're going to keep that original one there carefully. So uh, I'm going to uh, make this uh, original one and I'm just going to hide it. And then I'm going to make an extra copy of it. So we're going to keep that hidden original um, uh, copy just 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 in case you know we, uh, we're going to start editing this and if we edit it too much we can just go back to that original one. So that's just kind of uh, my uh, practice that I use to keep all the layers organized. So we've got two copies here. So one is hidden. And this one, this first copy, I'm going to lower the opacity down to maybe, let's just say 60%. So depending on what image you're using, um, it, it looks, uh, you need to figure out what looks good on your image. And let's uh, make another copy. And for this one, I'm actually going to make the edges glow. So the way you do that is by uh, picking this one. I'm just going to rename this before we go there as well. So I'm just going to name this blur one. Let's just name this blur one. And this blur one is just going to be like a really thin blur around the edges. So choose that blur one layer and click on filter and click on uh, go down to blur and choose Gaussian blur. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's Gaussian blur. And you can play around with the blurring uh, edges now. You can see that edges are quite blurred now. And you can see how blurred it is on this preview here. So let's just see what looks good here. I think that looks pretty good right there. So let's copy that. Let's say OK on that. And let's lower the opacity on this as well. So I don't want this to be too high. Maybe the original glass one needs to be a bit lowered in opacity as well. So you need to kind of play around with this and see which one works best for you. That looks good. And let's make another copy. And this time, let's make the let's make a blur quite a bit so I'm gonna uh, make the opacity on this one hundred percent and let's again I'm gonna rename this to blur 2 blur 2 and let's go to select I mean a filter blur and Gaussian blur let's make this blur, blur quite a lot I think that looks pretty good there yep so that, that looks it's trying to come together already so let's zoom out a little bit and it's starting to come together quite a, quite good already. So I'm going to go down and rub out some of these um, uh, red bits around here. So I'm going to choose that uh, box under the selective color. And I'm going to choose the uh, paintbrush, choose the black color, and just rub this out. So it looks a little bit better. It's already starting to come pretty good, but there's still some other minor adjustments that we can make. So let's just say right here, there's this, these are the uh, edge that I want to keep. So under blur two, um, I don't want that to take up all of this parts right here. So I can actually delete that part just under blur two and keep everything that's uh, blurred around it. So uh, the way you do that is by, let me just do that again, by holding control if you're on Windows, but if you're on uh, Mac, you can just hold command and click on any layer and that selects everything that's within that layer. So what I want to pick is, just the original glass copy, which is just the glasses itself. And I want to delete uh, under Blur 2, then I choose Blur 2, then I want to delete everything that's uh, within Blur 2 and keep everything that's blurring it. So let's just see what that looks like. Oops, let me cancel that. And that's an all right effect, but still, I think I still prefer to, prefer to be quite bright. Yeah, I think I, that, that's still probably the best effect so far. So you can play around with um, what works best for you. Um, sometimes that effect works on some other ones, but let's just give it one more blur. And I'm going to choose the original glass copy. And I'm going to rename this blur three. Blur three. And let's go to filter, blur, and choose Gaussian blur. So that's blurred quite a bit there. Don't think we can see most of it, but I think we can um, 
yeah, just up the opacity a little bit and we can see a little bit more now. I think that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to leave that there, the glasses there. So now let's play around with his face a little bit because I, the, I, want, I want the glasses to reflect off of his face as well. So what we're going to do is um, let's just go to the selective color part and we're going to get rid of some of these um, um, red color that's already around his face. So let's just choose a black color and let's just kind of get rid of parts of it, not all of it. There we go. And I'm going to choose another layer. So let's go into another layer. And I'm going to say face reflection. That's what I'm going to rename this layer. Face reflection. And I'm going to make the effect on this layer to be soft light. So sometimes I choose multiply, sometimes I choose a soft light, depending on uh, what actually works. But let's just make the uh, the brush on this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to keep the hardness on this brush at 0%. And I'm just going to paint over his face. So that looks quite hard around here. We can rub that out later on. But let's just kind of paint around his face, around here, around his nose. And maybe around, around here as well. Maybe run around his ears a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to rub out parts of this now as well. So let's just uh, uh, click on mask right here. So instead of just erasing out parts of this, I usually use the mask tool. So the mask tool just hides it instead of just deleting it. So if you made a mistake, you can actually bring it back. So the way you do that is by clicking on this little uh, circle and a square icon right here and that brings up this extra box. So if you choose, I'm going to choose a bigger brush this time. And I'm going to keep the the hardness quite um, quite low. And let's just rub out parts of this. Let's rub out parts of that there. So now it's starting to come together much better now. And maybe let's get back parts of it because I think we rubbed out a bit too much. So let's make the parts right here come back a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. And let's just try other effects as well, like multiply, darken. Multiply looks pretty good too. Uh, just try hard light. Yeah, I think I might stick with multiply instead of soft light. So that's the effect that works pretty good there. And it's already starting to come together. So we can um, add another layer in there and we can add some more lights, um, more reflection on his face. Um, but this time I, I'm gonna make it um, gain multiply and I'm gonna lower the opacity on that to maybe 50% because I want it to be less reflection around here. So let's just rub it around here, maybe around his forehead here as well. Maybe around there. Let's lower the opacity a little bit more. Yeah, I think looks, that looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's at 43% opacity. And let's also give it another mask by clicking on the mask tool. And I'm going to choose the paint paintbrush. And let's make a bigger paintbrush. And let's just rub out parts of it here and there. Yeah, I think that looks really good. So there's one more effect that you can add to make this look even better. Uh, if you go back to that circle icon on the bottom right hand corner and you choose uh, hue and saturation. So that brings up all of these options here and you can you can actually change the colors of the um, glowing effect. So if you play around with this, you can make it pink, you can make it yellow. So you maybe you change your mind, you maybe you can make it green. So let's just stick with yellow here and you can also change the saturation, make it, you know, make it even brighter if you wanted to. So you have a lot of control now as well. And you can also make it darker as well. Make it slightly darker, slightly brighter. So you have to kind of find that right spot. And you can change the color back to what you want it to be. Let's just choose maybe around here. And also make the saturation slightly lower here. So that looks much better now, just with that last touch. So that's how you make something glow on Photoshop. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment down below. Uh, but that's it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.